Yeezy unboxing. Okay, hello. Welcome to the Honev YouTube channel. And today, as you can see, we are unboxing some Kanye yes, West Yes Sir Yeezy 350 Boost. Now, the shoes in particular that we're unboxing today are the Beluga V2s. And I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys. These are fake because I'm not about to pay $350 for real ones. And that's why I was going to resell them for more. So, the first tip off that they're fake is, of course, the box. Because unless the most uncareful UPS worker in the world delivered real Yeezys to you, the box would not look like this. But the box looks like this because it's a fake box. And it came all the way from China. Woo! The capital of the world for fake stuff. Everything's fake in China. It's great. So, as you can see, the box isn't bad. If it was in better condition, it might pass off for a, um, a real Yeezy box to un uh, unaccustomed people. Non-sneakerheads, non-hype beast. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's got the... Uh, crap does it say? Yeezy Boost 350 made by Adidas. Adidas.com forward slash Nike. Or Kanye. Yeah, forward slash Nike. Uh, then it has the 11 and a half right here, which isn't too bad. Has the Adidas logos in all the right places, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't study the box too much because who cares about the box when you got the shoes? What a buoy. Go over there. What a buoy. Get out of my way. Okay. Okay. So, they don't look too bad for $70 fakes. I got these fakes from DHgate, so there are a couple things wrong that I've noticed so far. But the guy that I ordered them from, Sports Fan Got, had 4.8 stars. So they're they're really good <laughs> for $70 fakes. They're really good. Uh, and I've only spotted a couple minor, very minor in the details problems. But that's always where the problems are on replicas that aren't one to one in the details. Okay. So, okay, no, that's just a piece of lint. Oh, crap, I just pulled that out. Okay, no, that, yeah, that was, uh, uh, that's, that's a mistake. Shoot, I'm gonna have to cut that off real quick. Cut that off, okay, fantastic, fantastic. Now, the main thing I was seeing that was messed up on fakes was the, uh, dreaded heel pull tab. Now, this one's... Not bad, but it's not quiet on. To show you guys what I'm talking about with the pull tab, I put in some pictures courtesy of House of Cakes. And when I say courtesy, I don't mean they actually gave them to me. I just pulled them off the website. So look at these pictures, and you'll see what's the difference between the fakes and the reels, because I have no idea what I'm talking about. I was very pleasantly surprised when I got them. Uh, so let's look at the sole. Kind of get that like that, yeah. Okay, so as you can see right there, it says boost, which I think is right with a real one. And then, of course, this isn't real boost because they're not expensive enough to be real boost, I think. I don't know. I don't know how expensive Yeezys are to make. Probably not 220 Probably not 50 Uh You can feel that. It's really, really squishy, actually. I don't see if see my thumb sinking in quite a bit. They're really squishy. The pattern here is good. I don't know if it's entirely correct. And then... As you can see right here, it's kind of hard to see on camera. It says Adidas, and then it has their little logo here. What I was saying about this earlier, you can see that it's kind of a bit shiny compared to the real ones. Uh, I think the real ones are a bit darker uh, of a color here on these three stripes for Adidas. And the insole here, uh, you can see Adidas, Adidas logo, Yeezy. The E's are right, the Yeezy's right, everything seems pretty good. I'm not entirely sure, why do I keep saying I'm not sure about stuff? Someone in the comments check me, I'll put some high quality pictures of this so, so you can see what it looks like and you can tell me what's wrong with it besides the stuff I've already stated. Uh, the inside doesn't look half bad and the laces don't look half bad, they're tied like this for whatever reason. Okay. So, once we get these puppies out, beautiful, beautiful shoes. By the way, they smell like a shoe store, which makes sense because the shoes, brand new shoes, uh, they smell like the Nike store to me. They smell really good. 
shoot action cam. Okay. Crap. So they also come with these Yeezy socks, which um, open like this. Supply 350 socks, baby. You gotta get all of that Kanye West merch. I don't even, I don't think they make real versions of these. It's just a perk of getting fake ones. You get more than just the shoes. You get socks and actually you can't see what else you get with it yet. We haven't gotten that part of the video. They're pretty nice. They feel like regular socks. They just, uh, they just have Supply 350 on them. These are pretty nice, pretty stretchy. They're shortcut to make it. Um, not have any socks showing with these, just kind of how they're meant to be worn. I don't know. We're gonna take off the sweet Rick and Morty socks that my father got me for Christmas. Take these off real quick. Okay, and put on. Ooh. These are weird. <laughs> They're actually really comfortable. Not gonna lie. They are really comfortable. Put on these babies. Look at those. Ooh, those look like crap. Those look terrible on foot. Oh no. These look awful. They're so ugly. It looks like someone took a highlighter. It's just, whoosh. oh no. I mean, they look like the OG Belugas, but they're really ugly. That's why I got the Beluga V2s. They're my favorite Yeezy design yet. Uh, which is why they're sitting right here. Uh, so, they're comfortable. They're like baby socks. I don't know. Recording this the day after Christmas, the shipping. We're going to talk about that real quick. It came in about three weeks from DHgate. The guy I ordered on DHgate from is called Sports Fan Got. He's crap. He was really responsive um, because I had accidentally ordered two of the same shoe, same size, to the same place. And he was very helpful in showing me that I had done that because I had no idea. And he canceled one of the orders with me, which I appreciate very much because paying $140 for two pairs of the same shoe would be stupid. And that's someone else wore a size 11 and a half. Um, and yeah, great buyer experience overall. They came pretty quick, much quicker than I thought. They were scheduled to come January 8th, and today's Jan or December 26th. So they came really early, which I'm happy with. Very good. Uh, that's not part of this. That just fell out of the box. Something, that fell out of the box. Okay, so we got this too. A Yeezy Beluga V1 keychain that we're gonna put on our keychain. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I left my keychain upstairs. Oops. So open that. Pretty easy to open. Same basic principle as the socks to open. Ooh, that is nice. That's some good rubber right there. That's actually nice. The design's really cool. Uh, I'd love to have that on my keychain. It's kind of sticky on the back. I don't know why. It's not too sticky. It's just like grippy rubber, if you know what I know what I mean. Uh, as you can see, butter buoy. One one easy. Best fakes I've ever seen. Okay. Um, so we have that. That's a cool thing. Yeah, it does do what I thought it does. So that material shines when you put light on it. Shines back at you. So we are going to put these on. Right after I show you the receipt, get pranked, kiddo. You thought I, you thought I was going to put them on? Nope. Okay. This is a horrible receipt. No. <laughs> Okay, so we got a fake receipt from Foot Locker that's printed literally on printer paper, which uh, you can tell that it's fake immediately, right off. They got the line through it though, which is pretty cool, pretty accurate. They got the line through it and it's a bit faded to make it look kind of real, but not faded enough to actually look real. Uh, so, print on paper ink, or on printer ink, paper printer paper yeah I said that three times so well so as you can see it gives you a register register eight I've never seen a footlocker with eight registers but okay um, cashier my cashier's Michael thanks Michael for the Yeezys 
I can't believe we bought these Yeezys for 220 but they sold them to me for 70 What a deal! And then the store, I don't know if that's a real store, look it up. As you can see, Yeezy Boost 350 V2, 220 Not too bad, not too bad. Subtotal sales tax, 1320 They probably got that right. 233.20. What a deal, man. Got them for 70 Made you charge, I don't know. Uh, taxable rate six percent tax. That's Georgia tax. Huh. Six percent on the dollar. Interesting. Uh, tip merchandise. Uh, merchandise returned to the store without receipt is part of our multiple. We're only be credit the amount of multiple. Okay, whatever. NBA All Star FTL. Uh, NBA All Star Special EB. Fulton Street, Brooklyn, New York. These, so these were supposed to be bought in New York. Interesting. So, see if I could return these to the Yeezy store, but I'm not that one guy's channel. Who does that? Because that's lame. So, we're going to, with our highlighter, the orange Supply 350 socks, we're going to un undo them real quick. Oh wait, we still have the paper in them. Yeah, they come with paper. Woo. Get some paper for your money too. Woo. Paper out, paper out, paper good. And put these on. Put these on. Woo. Woo. Feel good, feel good. And these do fit very true to size, so get the size you wear because it doesn't really have any leeway. I'm going to tie these, first time tying these, it's kind of uncomfortable. Sponsor me, Crap Protect. I made one video about shoes.